In this exercise, we'll be hooking up our Arduino for the first time. To do that, we'll talk about the Arduino board itself, we'll look at some of the components that go with the Arduino board, and we'll consider the code and how it works, and we'll program and get our Arduino to blink. Before we get started, I want you to go find the collection of wires that's on the front table, and get yourself, oh, make sure you get at least one short red and black one. These jumper wires will be used to connect our Arduino to our various circuits and, po and components. It's simply a wire with a, a pin at the end that will let us plug into our breadboard and our Arduino card. Make sure you have oh, a small handful of the short ones, maybe a, a just over a half a dozen, and then three or four of the longer ones, and that should be all that we need. Next we'll look at some parts. I want you to choose from the parts bin. Use this part sheet to find some resistors in the bin and LEDs, light emitting diodes. There's five of those. Notice that there's a quantity that I want you to get, five of each. We won't be using necessarily all of these, but I want you to have options. Then some other components that we may find useful in our circuitry, including some circuits that are already made, like this ultrasonic rangefinder. This is our Arduino card that we'll be using, this Arduino platform. And I want you to notice that we have a breadboard with it. These breadboards are nothing more than a bunch of holes with a series of metal plates inside that will connect our wires together. Let's take a look at our Arduino board. This is an Arduino Uno, which is um, a classic board style. Other companies also make Arduino, Arduino, in this case another Uno, and they use a different kind of chip. This happens to be a surface mount chip. And the reason that other companies make these is because Arduino is open source. That means, well, just any company that is willing to can make an Arduino. Let's take a look at this board. This will be the style that we'll tend to use. And I want you to notice first the ends here. There are two connectors that we can plug in. One is so I can plug battery into here and run this without being connected to a computer. And the other is USB connector. This USB connector will let me plug this Arduino board into my computer. I also have a reset button. That means if I put a program in this Arduino, I press this button, it'll restart that program. The Arduino chip itself is this long chip. And chip um, is an integrated circuit. There are electronics inside and all these little wires that come out the side, these little silver things, go down through the computer board and attach to all these little traces or LANs um, that go throughout the board. You can see some here. They connect to these edges and these edges have a connector that's plugged in that will let us plug wires and components in and those wires and components will hook to um, other circuits. Those labels on this side um, what's really important to know is, is there's ground, GND, that's the minus side. Then I have from 0 to 13 I have 14 different what's called digital I.O. pins. So these can be turned on and turned off and sometimes they can be turned on and off so fast that it seems like there's only a certain voltage level. And that's like pulse width modulation. That's, that's what this PMW stands for. We'll talk about that a lot later. On this side I have what's considered analog pins and it goes from A0 to A5. That means six of those. Those can do what's called analog to digital conversion. That means that th there's a circuit inside this chip that will listen for or monitor the voltage level and give a digital number for that voltage level. In other words, you can measure things with it, almost like a meter. And then we have a few more pins up here that uh, could be necessary for us. Two more grounds, R plus five, which is sometimes called VCC. 3.3 volts, um, a way to put a reset in, and something called I.O. Ref. This is our Arduino program. It's also known as the Arduino IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. That just means this is where we write our programs for Arduino. In this exercise, we're going to keep this very simple because we have lots to learn already. How to connect it to the Arduino, and how to get our first program uploaded and, and maybe change it. So that's what we're going to work on next. To get the program, or get a program, we can find a library of programs. And to do that, I'll click on File. I'll roll down in the menu to Examples. If I keep my mouse in this corridor over to Basics, I can slide it all the way over to Blink. We'll click Blink, and it'll open up another sketch. And I'll drag that sketch over and put it right over the top of this one. A sketch is another name for an Arduino program. This program is ready to be uploaded 
And we can do that by clicking this button up here. But before we do that, I want you to notice the COM port down here in the corner. It's possible that when you plugged in your Arduino, it has a different COM port. I will plug in my Arduino card. There it goes. And now my computer says it's installing, installing a new device driver. Well, I'm going to open that up. You don't need to open yours. and I'm going to watch and see what happens. It's actually noticing the communication port on the Arduino. Each Arduino has its own communication port. Each USB does. And my Arduino does as well. When this is done, it says it is actually COM7. I'm going to click Close. And notice my Arduino program still thinks it's looking at COM1. In this sketch, the program was already designed to make an LED on our Arduino card blink. And before we actually upload it to the Arduino card, let's take a look at the program a little bit. First, I want you to notice this gray text. The gray letters are here just for us. The computer can't read these and can't understand them, but we can. And hopefully, whoever wrote programs, and when you write programs, you'll add comments about how your program works and what it does. There, the program is divided into three sections. The first section has to do with um, setup. And the setup will tell something called pin 13 to be in pin mode as an output. This is something that we may only have to do one time. And that's why it's only done in the setup. If we have things that are done repetitively or looping, like in this loop section of the program, it will do it over and over again. And really, that is all of our program. The third section would be up here, and this is where we would declare or decide if we want to use other variables, and we will later. This Arduino has a USB connector that we'll plug our cable into. I want you to simply plug that in, and we'll begin to program our Arduino. I will click on the upload, and that will send my program to my Arduino, which now happens to be on COM6. The computer is compiling my code that is making it into the ones and zeros that the Arduino can understand and it looks like it says upload is done and I can see that my Arduino is blinking. Good. I'd like you to do that for yourself and see that yours is blinking. This LED that blinks should be very close to pin 13. It's actually connected to pin 13. The first section I notice is the setup. In this setup, it sets one of the pins to be an output. I suppose that's necessary to make our LED blink. We probably only have to do that once, and that's why it is in setup by itself. That only happens once. Down below, where there's another section that has to do with loop, that, I believe, runs over and over again. And in it, and in it there's a command that says to digitally write to 13 a high. And my comments tell me that that turns the LED on. Then there's another command, just like it, that sends to 13 a low, which turns the LED off. Between these commands is another command called a delay. And when given the value of 1,000, it waits for a second. Does that mean that 1 over here by itself would be 1,000th of a second? Let's experiment with this now that you've got it blinking. And I'd like you to try several different things for the rest of your time. Change the values of these numbers that are here for the delay. Make this one a maybe a hundred and upload it and see what your LED does on your Arduino and see if you can predict as you make these changes what the LED is going to do after the upload is complete. And can you make it go faster? Can you determine if it's on all the time or off all the time or most of the time? Next, we will work with adding some circuitry to our Arduino. Circuitry that will connect to this pin 13 and see if we can light up our own LED. That concludes our exercise for this section.